Well, I'm back for another episode. Um, I guess we call it episodes, although I haven't been doing it episodically. This video is about serendipity. Now, if you're not in the, well, not the concept, but uh, the vehicle, if you're not up to speed with that, have a look at the link in the description and you'll see um, one or two links to this story of serendipity. Uh, this is a camper van we are building for my uh, senior advisor, aka my mother. Um, so this has been bits and pieces coming and going in amongst a whole bunch of other stuff that's happened. So this is pretty much just a compilation of little update clips as the build has progressed. And uh, we'll be doing hopefully a better video in the future. Hopefully when we take it out for a run, there'll be a bit of drone footage maybe, depending on air clearance and where we actually take it. It's uh, pretty interesting to try and get a drone in the air around here legitimately. So uh, yeah, we may have to go a fair way out of this area before we can fly that. Anyway, um, this just gives you a compilation of sporadic clips over the last few months as to the progression of serendipity. So here you go. We'll see what it's like. All right, so it's a uh, noisy start to this video. Um, we've got vehicles going and stuff everywhere. I have the door tops off and the canvas up today and uh, some junk in the back of the 4x4. We are working on Serendipity, uh, my senior advisor's camper van. Uh, we're going to get some timber cut for the bed and uh, we've got a little bit to muck around with as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you guys with uh, a montage in AutoCAD of me drawing up the layout and the cutting diagram for this sheet to take down two bunnings and get some timber cut and uh, we'll take the forby in to the trade area and we'll clean our windscreen some point too and um, yeah hopefully we'll have a bed at the end of it so see you after the montage <laughs>
So I happened to choose a day where it's going to rain. So I've had to duck around here real quick and drop off the timber. Oh, and uh, my happy sponsor here, um, I ordered 100 blocks of this soap. They sent me 200. So I've got some to give away. Hit me up in the comments if you want some. Anyway, um, we're going to get this loaded into serendipity over here. So let's get this gloves out and get this timber in there. Pretty sure that's off cut. Uh, I'm going to have to get my cutting sheet and figure out what lengths I need. So, for a start, I know I need six legs, which are 300 mil long. So that would be roughly that long. So I should have six identical lengths like that. And then all the other bits because we're going to get wet. I've still got to stop by Tinker Man Mick and uh, load up, load him up with some of this grip mitts as well. The six lengths of that, two, four, six, seven more bits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will be the additional bits. All right. The rest is off cut. Ah, the sound of rain on a tin roof. I love it. However, when you're doing a project that you need to assemble outside, that's a problem. So we're going to have to sit around and wait for the rain to finish. It could be a few days. So we don't know. Anyway, we'll cut to the bit where I'm actually assembling it. We'll see you there. Three weeks later. All right, we're back at the used car lot, and uh, what's what we call here. Um, looking at a serendipity, and we had a delivery. Now this is a bit out of sequence, so we'll cut to that delivery footage right here. All right, the next part for serendipity has arrived. And naturally the wind has picked up while I'm filming. This is the floor plate. I had drawn up the CAD dimensions for it, and um, we're down to my local friendly cabinet maker, who is also a friend of mine. And uh, he put this through his NC machine. And uh, we've got some nice melamine we can stick carpet to. That's going to go in the bottom of Serendipity. Alright, so I overlooked some dimensions and it doesn't fit. But we're going to do some mods. 72 hours later. So that new floor plate that you saw, it's been adjusted. Uh, a senior engineer, he got in and helped trim everything down and measure it and fitted the radiuses very nicely in the corner here. They've glued this carpet down. Uh, the carpet was a purchase. I went down and um, put that for my senior advisor. Bought a big roll of that. I think that was about 50 bucks a meter and uh, about two and a half meters worth. But the floor is looking really nice in here and there's no little ridges underneath here. It's all nice and flat under a piece of melamine and feels very homely. Sound deadens a little bit, bit more insulation on the floor. And this tinting is magic. This is working really, really well. The windows are cool to the touch on the inside, but outside in this sun, it's actually too hot to touch the out of, outside of the vehicle. The solar panel is doing the job. It's up the top here, the brand new solar panel. Um, it's keeping that lithium ion battery charged. And the little fridge here is running pretty much around the stock or around the clock with a couple of Cokes in it and doing a wonderful job. It's keeping up with everything indefinitely. So we're doing really well and uh, we're happy with the build so far. The next morning. All right, so I'd come today to do the bed in serendipity, but uh, they'd substituted my timber. I had asked for 100 by 50 mil, also known as a four by two, thinking it was a common size. Well, they substituted me for 90 by 30 and threw all my measurements out of the whack for the bed frame. So I've bought a pile of timber and they were kind enough to refund me for a few lengths of this. And uh, so I bought some more timber with that price and uh, I bought a mitre box and borrowing the old man's um, panel saw and mitre saw to uh, get these nice and square and we'll start from scratch. All right, so mitre box and hand saw and about an hour later and we have a basic frame so we'll keep going and 
hopefully we end up with something that actually works all right so we just flipped this over and it actually looks a bit bed like now and so we're going to go and do test some test fits and everything before we get too far into it we might omit that third leg because the wheel arch is going to perform some of the support duties um but yeah it looks like stuff's going to slide in and out where it's intended to and find the kitchen <laughs> and we'll test the kitchen gear that's got to go under the back here all right a couple more hours in or at least probably about another hour we have the frame completed with six legs or five legs in random places and uh, the wheel arch being one of those legs uh, room to put everything under here we're going to put the um, MD, the marine ply on the top give it a test run and then later on we'll figure out how we hinge it all up but we're getting there we have a bed frame now all right we've got six mil marine ply on the top which is about seven ply I think I'm gonna chuck the mattress on see what it looks like grab one end here what? Yeah, that's the way I was going. All right, so where we're at at the moment, we have the bed assembled and tested, and my apprentice got in there and pretty much took ownership of it the second we put that in there. Anyway, um, it's at a point where we can test it. Uh, the bed's not yet fixed down, but... Uh, That'll happen soon enough, but it's very nearly at a useful phase. So uh, hopefully we'll see us in the next one when we're actually trying this out. Have fun. Keep on watching.